Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Monday Night at the Movies. Today we're going to be going into Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So let's get into it. Oh good, they kept the old uh, book for the storytelling which is quite cool. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. Yes it was. Along with his friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort, the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. Well, but now Harry was back at He defeated the Quidditch entity crime. that he was within. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back, he will be in mortal danger. There is a plot, Harry Potter. A plot to make most terrible things happen. It's not a bad Dobby impression of what he sounded like in the film, was it? Shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent as someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco <laughs> Malfoy. Eventually, yeah. they landed at Ron's <laughs> house, the burrow. Touchdown! Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Beds empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned to Harry. Very <laughs> pleased to see you, Harry, dear. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. Okay. So it looks like our first action in the game is to uh, do some chores with Ron. <laughs> you love to see it. Nice. That looks pretty good for a PS1 game. Welcome to my home. It's not much. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We call it the burrow. Come on, Harry. If the gorge locked the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. Nintendo! Let's get it in position and that one into position. And we'll jump up Ronald on top of them. Weasley, Oi. I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Oh dear, Mum's really not happy and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump in through the attic window. Let's go. Alright, we're up there. Look like he fell off again though. Oh, there he is. Harry just appears, climbing up uh, onto the roof. Right, we need to calm down the <laughs> He's banging and dropping pipes and it's driving Mum mad. Use your directional buttons to move the chest. Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible racket. Okay. Harry, let's get to 60 it. pipes, fuck me, that's a lot. Ah, see, it's quite simple, really. Damn it! So keep hitting the floor, fuck! How many pipes does this ghoul fucking have? Jesus Christ! Nice Getting that work, fucking covered. Harry. That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. That's all right, mate. Much quieter. Now I need you boys to denote the garden for me. Go find Mr. Weasley. He's by the shed messing about with non-magical junk. So I have to refer to their um, dad as Mr. Weasley, eh? Not well, go find your father in the garden. In a way. Luckily, I know my way around the garden, eh? And I've seen some of these bits before. Dad leaves his junk everywhere. It drives Mum mad. 
Try smashing these barrels with a fully charged knockback jinx, so okay. we can get through the gate. Let's do all of them, yeah? Is this one going to be red? Nope, nothing in that one. Excellent. Just a way through the damn gate. Uh, Ron, could you not hold that open for me? Hey, look. Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. You know why. Hello, Harry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ginny. I'm just looking after our past game. I'm making sure that Fred and George don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Drive the puffs game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavour beans that you can collect. Beans can be used to buy famous witches and wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. Oh, I see. So it's slightly different to how it was on the first game. If you game. guide the puffs game over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. Oh, it's gone down here. Yeah, you eat that one, look. We've got all these. At least these bushes don't hurt you like the ones at Hogwarts. Good job, pal. Well done, Harry. Here's a famous witches and wizards card. Felix oh, thanks. Summerby. Felix Summerby. I don't want to see him. Best I don't want to see him. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. Hello, Harry. I'm Arthur Weasley. I was wondering if you'd help me denome the garden. It's just through the gate, but you'll need the denoming gloves to grab the gnomes. Give me those gloves. I seem to have lost them under all this junk. Of course you have. Use your Wingardium Leviosa spell to charm and move the junk. I'll sort it, mate. Where's your wand anyway? I shouldn't be using magic outside of Hogwarts. Well done, Harry. Nice work. You found the denoming gloves. Here they are. Thank you. Ah, good. Thanks for helping Dad out, Harry. You've also learned how to charm objects. I'm sure that will come in very handy. The sooner we denome the garden, the sooner we can get some sleep. I'm exhausted. Time to put these denoming gloves to good use. Mum wants okay. to throw these gnomes over the fence and into that field of that's no magical junk. Let's do this. Come on. Full power. Ah, oh, well, I missed everything, but he is at the back of the fucking garden. That's as far as anyone can throw them. Damn right it is. What are we going to hit this time? Get off me. Fuck you, mate. Alright, we're nearly there. Well, he's been launched into the bush. Got to try and hit that. Well, we'll probably hit the... Yeah, there we go. You love to see it. The wasp hive's going to get him. Fucking... Hurt. Hopefully. We'll sting him. Make him even more ugly than he already is. Ah, shit. It's gonna hit the hedge. Oh, it's not quite full power. Is it there? Damn it! <laughs> it was almost the one. Almost. So, high score is 400. I beat it at Excellent, least. Excellent, Harry. That's your all time high score. Thanks, Ron. Do you want to play again? Nah, not really, mate. Okay, so that is where we're going to leave this week's episode of Monday Night at the Movies. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets as a part of my Monday Night at the Movies series, then please subscribe. And I will see you next time. <laughs>